I'm Mike Short from Nuclear Science and Engineering, and I delight in solving the problems that have been plaguing industries like nuclear for the last 50 years. And the one that I focused on first is an issue known as CRUD. It's actually a backronym for Chalk River Unidentified Deposits. They've now since been identified. Uh, and actually, I got to talk to a fellow from Chalk River, one of the labs in Canada that said, you know, I take offense to this scourge of the industry being named after my fine laboratory. It turns out that people thought it was an acronym, uh, and it was just made up to back fact track it later, who knows what. So CRUD's not an acronym, but it actually is very descriptive of what the problem is. All the internal surfaces in a nuclear reactor corrode very, very slowly, but there's a lot of them. And those corrosion products have to go somewhere, and they tend to plate out on the nuclear fuel. And that stuff we affectionately call CRUD. It produces lots of problems in nuclear reactors, so it's something that's physically between the nuclear fuel rods where the heat's made and the water where the heat's got to go. It makes it harder for the heat to get out, it's porous, so chemicals can hide out in there and mess around with the reactor power and reactor chemistry. And it gets really radioactive because it's near the fuel. CRUD creates a lot of problems at plant that span everything from safety to reliability to cost. It can cause upswings or downswings in power, requiring you to downgrade your plant's power level. And that costs you about 10K per percent per day. So if you do a quick back of the envelope calculation, a nuclear plant that produces about a gigawatt electric power, let's say they go down by 10% power and they run for 500 days. That's $50 million of lost electricity because of a preventable problem. It can also cause outages all of a sudden where the corrosion underneath crud can cause failure of the nuclear fuel, radioactive stuff gets out and you gotta shut down right away. And then you start losing one to two million per day of unplanned outages. And then finally, there's the whole radiation problem, is these corrosion products are radioactive, they get hotter as they stick around on the fuel, and then when you've got to shut the plant down to maintain it, well, there's people that have to go in and fix those things, and they can't get too much radiation dose, so you've got to swap people out all the time. And what this results in is an economic impact anywhere from 100 to 500 million dollars per year to the U.S. nuclear industry, and it's really unpredictable. That's a big range, right? Like if you knew it was going to be 100 million, you deal with it. If it's going to be somewhere between 1 and 500 million, what do you do? You never know when an outage is going to happen. So this problem's been there for 50 years. The problem is as old as reactors themselves. And we think we've uncovered some science which can stop it forever.